today at the Lehigh Valley Heritage Museum and we're with Joe who is the Chief Curator and Assistant Director here. Joe, can you tell us a little bit about the area where we're standing now? Behind us is our JFK exhibit. Uh, we opened the John F. Kennedy exhibit in October and it's really a wonderful exhibit. We also have a Pennsylvania Dutch exhibit which will stay here for quite a while, well into 2016 too. And it is really an unusual exhibit because what we're demonstrating is the Pennsylvania Dutch influence throughout all of America. And as we walk through the museum here, as we're going to do in just a minute, there are some different areas of what we're going to see here. Can you tell us a little bit about what visitors can see when they're here on site at the museum? Sure. We have an exhibit on uh, Lehigh Valley history, which actually is our one permanent exhibit. It's always with us, but we're always switching things in and out mm -hmm. to introduce new ideas and new artifacts. So people always have something new to see when they come. So Jill has offered to walk us through the museum here. So right now we're in the center of the permanent exhibit. This part of the exhibit deals with a woman who has made national history as well, of course, as local history. And her name is General Brigadier General Anna Mae V. McCabe Hayes. And she was the first woman ever promoted to the rank of Brigadier General in the United States military. And she calls Allentown her home. So as we make our way through the museum here in the permanent exhibit, uh, we're talking a little bit about the industrial heritage of Lehigh Valley. And we know that the men worked in the steel and cement industries, but Joe, can you tell us a little bit about what the women did here in the yeah, valley? Sure. Well, many people don't know, know this, but women actually worked in the cigar factories, and it was an extremely tough job. I mean, you really had to be hardy to work in there, and you did a particular job over and over and, and over again. So it was a really difficult job, just as working in the silk mills were for women as well. So as so we make our way through the permanent exhibit here, Joe, can you tell us about this one that happens, happens to be one of the larger artifacts here in the museum? <laughs> yeah, it definitely is one of the larger artifacts and probably one of the heaviest, if not the heaviest, of our artifacts. What is really interesting about this bell is that it would be wrong when court was to begin or when it was over. It would wrong, be wrong when important messages, they had to get out important messages to the community. The bell would be rung and they would gather to hear what that message was. We also have in the museum itself a research library where people can come to either research local history or also their genealogy oh, too. Cool. So I could go trace my family tree down Absolutely. Oh, we, have, we have wonderful records. We have a large selection of records. This is the place to come to do your genealogy. Cool. I know we're going to take a walk just next door here to Trout Hall as well. Mm -hmm. So in addition to the center here where we are, what other properties does the museum manage? Right. Well, we have several. The one right next door, Trout Hall, that mm -hmm. you mentioned is a colonial stone mansion which was built in 1770 by James Allen, whose father was the founder of Allentown. We also have a 1756 Pennsylvania German farmhouse, which is up in G Egypt, Whitehall Township. Okay. We also have a one-room schoolhouse which is in Klausville. No matter where you start your tour, there's plenty of history to be seen and enjoyed throughout Lehigh Valley. Our thanks to Jill and the team here at the Lehigh Valley Heritage Museum. Be sure to check out their website for all their locations and details. I'm your host, Katie, and we'll see you next time.